All right, guys, we're in another two man. Uh, we will play first. Uh, this is a one man hand. We cannot keep it. Let's mulligan into oh, some. I handle some awkward mana. We are on the play, so we can play our Celestial Colonnade, untap it, and have Spell Snare up, as well as Path to Exile. Uh, it is definitely awkward, though, but we're going to keep it regardless. We do have our colors. It's just a little slow. Pass the turn back. And let's see what our opponent has. Green. Okay. Um, not sure how this matchup is for us. I can not imagine it's a great one. We want to get that red mana out of Zove. Um, I think we want to play the Tectonic Edge. I think we want to see what our opponent does. The main thing we're worried about is a Daybreak Coronet. Um, depending upon what he plays, maybe we want to mana leak it. Spell Skite is going to be great out of the board in this matchup. Umbra. Well, we don't have a way to kill this creatures anyway, so I don't think we care. If we were looking at a Wrath of God or something in our hand, I might have considered countering it, but that is not the case. Blade cover scout. Um, if we mana like that, he's forced to just load up one creature. Um, I th I think we will mana like his second threat. Okay, so we're forced to kind of play the sulfur falls. The Lightning Bolts are good against Core Spirit Dancer. Other than that, they're terrible. Spirit Mantle, we don't really care about that. Daybreak Coronet's bad because it gives their guys a lot of... Uh, it allows them to do a lot more damage, but it also um, gives them lifelink. So it, it can put the game out of reach and just erase any possibility of erasing him. So we have Spell Snare and Mana Leak up, so that's good. Uh, we will Snare that. Probably should have left the red up since I had, uh, since I do have bolts in hand. Slippery Boggle. Um. I guess we let that resolve. Maybe hold up the mana leak for something more relevant. There's a piece of our combo, but if if we get really lucky and and draw a restoration angel and a couple of lands, then maybe we get there. He doesn't have us on a very fast clock. At this point, we're going to be looking to counter something like Ethereal Armor just to keep that clock uh, a little slower. Um, he doesn't have the mana to play any other enchantment, so he's not going to draw a card. We'll just we're going to bolt that at the end of turn here. Untap, remand. Hmm. I'd like to see something else. He has one white source, so if he does Ethereal Armor, uh, Enchanted Creature gets... Uh, 
has reach. Um, that's okay. I mean, he can block one of our tokens, one of our copies, but one card in hand. I guess we could have remanded it, but I was kind of afraid that we re remanded or counter it, and then he'd play um, a thrill armor. Um, so I think I'm going to bolt and remand my own bolt. Let's see. Click holding control to hold priority. Uh, pay the red on the stack. And we'll remand that. Hmm. I think our friend just got there. Yeah, we don't have a way to interact. We're dead on board. All right, so game two. This is a bad matchup for us, and we don't have Rune Halos, but we do have, we have a Spellskite. It'd be nice to have more. Um, hmm. I think we bring in our Wrath of Gods, and we do everything that we can to try to counter the Umbras. The Umbras are what make our Wraths ineffectual. Go ahead and bring this in, I guess. Uh, it's not as strong. Um, actually, no, I mean, there's just a chance he could just be too big for that. Um, okay, yeah, so none of that does anything else. Let's see, what's bad? Path to Exiles are horrible. They don't even hurt him. I mean, they, they, you can't send the path to the face. Uh, Wall of them is horrible. Electrolyze is, is bad, but at least it draws us a card and, you know, hits him, so... We're gonna we're gonna take this configuration into battle. Hope for the best. Uh, Boggles is a bad matchup for blue, white, red. Just about any variation of it, I'd imagine. Um, typically, I will put Rune Halos in the board, um, or I've run Rune Halos in the past rather. And I think if you're gonna be playing in the two-man queues of Magic Online, uh, I think it's probably. If you're going to play in a daily event, I think you probably might want to run a different sideboard than if you're going to play in the two mans. I think you see more burn and boggles and infect in two mans than you do in the daily events. Just waiting for him to submit his deck. Oh, we still have that game. That was weird. Uh, okay. All right. Yes, we want to play first. Um. Well. I'm not a huge fan of this hand. Um, yeah, this hand sucks because we have we can only get two of our colors. Uh, it's kind of awkward. We're gonna mulligan. Um, this has a spell snare at least and a click. Um, otherwise, it's still pretty slow. But we're gonna keep it and hope that we draw a wrath. And potentially some more counter magic. There's his boggle. Okay, Wrath is obviously not bad. If this. Okay, that sucks. We can't counter the Umbra, which is kind of what we were worried about.
So we can't counter that umber either. So our wraths are already bad. And this matchup's just very tough for us without the right cards. Um, we are going to click at his draw step. Let's see if we can take something relevant. Unfortunately, he has first strike, so we're unable to block. Um, lands in a boggle. Um, we're going to let him keep all of that. And I don't think we're going to block, mainly because I'd like to try to get some extra value out of our Vendillion click. If we draw another land, we can play Restoration Angel uh, at his draw step again, bounce Vendillion click, and take care of anything that we cannot, that, that, that's, you know, whatever's relevant. Plays his land. He's going to play the other Boggle. Okay. Uh, so we have our combo. We don't have the lands to play them. We don't even have the lands to Wrath. It's unfortunate. Uh, but we have some time, so... Um, we're going to hold back Vendillion Click to just give us a little bit more time. If we block the Boggle that has enchantments on it, our Vendillion Click dies. We prevent some damage. However, uh, he still has another threat. I'd rather just trade with him here, I think. We really need to draw lands. That's a land, that's a start. That's definitely going to get a steam vents. Um, if he doesn't play another enchantment, we can block the boggle. So let's see what he does before attacking. He's going to play something. Okay, so he's going to play Daybreak Coronet. Enchanted Creature gets plus three, plus three, First Strike, Vigilance, Life Leak. I... Hmm. <clears throat> if we let him do that and we're able to... If we counter that then we can't play a Restoration Angel. He swings in for three. We might be able to block it next turn. I think that's our play. Because if we just let him have it, he's going to hit us for six, and he's just it's putting too quick of a clock on us. So, yeah, I think we just want to Spell Snare this for now. It's possible we may draw into another Red Source and could have won, meaning we could have just let him have it, untapped this, Played our rest. Oh, he's got two of them, or what? That's crap. I mean, there's really nothing you're gonna do. Can't do anything about that. So it would have been better to play our restoration angel. Um, because we're well, no, he would have just played both, and we would have see would have hit us for nine. But we would have had a restoration angel had we played a restoration angel, knowing that second one was gonna happen. On the next turn, we would have had a restoration angel in play, and did we get lucky and draw another land? then we could have um, just comboed off. Maybe playing to our Alps was better, but I did not expect him to have two Daybreak Coronets. So we have to, we need this land. Um, 
Okay, let's see. We're at four. He's at six. We can sphinx it for one, which isn't enough. We can block the rest restoration angel. It'll die. Um, we can wrath of God. Wrath of God will get rid of an umbra, which will just make it a five five, which means we're still dead. So if we have any hope of winning, we're going to have to unfortunately block with Restoration Angel and lose our combo piece, but we don't have another choice. It's the only thing that buys us any time. I guess Cryptic Command buys us a little more time and maybe helps us find a land. We didn't get it. Um, we cannot play Kiki Jiki. We can Wrath of God. It'll be a 5-5. Five five. We're, we're more or less dead. I mean, we're dead anyway. We're going to play this just to make sure that somehow it's, you know, I don't know. We're, we're to make sure, yeah, okay, so that dies. Yeah, I think we should see that. And yeah, 5-5. Five, five. Okay, well, didn't get there. Bad matchup. Um, let's see. In that match, I think, I just don't think we have a sideboard that's very um, competitive against that deck. I think we'd need to bring in something like Rune Halo or Hollowed, a Hollowed Burial, maybe another Spell Skype, but... Uh, we're still just going to play the list uh, the way it's configured. 